Hi Leo, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Leo with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Leo, let's see how you're coming into the reading. How's Leo? Okay, so you could be trying to save your relationship, your marriage. Um, maybe you're trying to inject some more fun, some more activity. Um, you're trying to be nicer. Let's see. How is Leo coming into, um, you understand that something is missing. It's like you're trying to gain clarity on what is missing. What's the missing element here? Or why is this person acting different? Something is off. Something is missing. Um, yeah, you could be trying to snoop around, get in someone's business or trying to get in your person's business or vice versa. This is what they're doing in terms of you. Um, you could even be asking around, um, you want to get, gain some knowledge about, yeah, because you feel like maybe you're dealing with a liar or your person is lying to you. Okay. Um, I heard a big fat liar. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. That maybe they're, they're keeping another relationship, you know, off to the side. Um, this could be an extramarital affair. March could be significant. You could be dealing with a Piscean person. Um, you love this person, but you feel like something about them right now is fraudulent. You know, every, they're a liar. Everything they say is it's just cap. And honesty is coming up in the reverse. So it's like you feel like they're just being dishonest. Um, and you feel like they've been hurt before and hurt people hurt people. So it's kind of like you know what's going on. Let's see how the person that you are coming to the reading for, how they feel. Let's see. How does Leo's person feel? So they feel like um, this could be something new. Maybe they're in a relationship where they like somebody. It could be like, yeah, weeks of no communication. Maybe they kind of ghost this person a bit because, you know, they're they're an extra person to the, to the marriage or to the relationship. So it's like they keep this person at bay. Yeah, they like, um, maybe they feel like you're, you or the other person that they're dealing with is a doormat. Something about fear. Maybe, I don't know, they fear that either you or that they've grown complacent. Yeah, they definitely have a situation where they're like um, keeping somebody just, you know, on the phone or in the phone or it's just kind of like uh, text messaging. Um. Yeah, this person, your person seems as if like they want the relationship with you, but they also want to kind of see what else is out there. Yeah, this person could be trying to grow two different relationships at the same time. Somebody could be cheating while someone is pregnant, but a lot of times this comes out when somebody's trying to have a marriage and a relationship at the same time. Um, yeah, you could be their safe place. Okay. But sometimes um, they feel like you are a live wire and you want to have sex when you're drunk. Yeah. It's some issues between the two of you that you need to kind of iron out here. All right, let's see what's going on for Leo. What's going on for Leo? Well, let's see what the advice is for you. What's the advice? Perfect timing. All right, so you're going to kind of get something revealed to you in the perfect timing. Yeah. You're gonna and you're gonna communicate clearly between you and your person, but you just need to wait. Especially if you're snooping, if you're trying to whatever the question is, the answer is yes. Is my person cheating? Yes. Are they do they wanna be with me? Yes. Do they wanna be with the other person? Yes. It's like I don't know. Whatever the question is, the answer is a definite yes, because we have the yes with the exclamation point. So this is what I have for you, Leo. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you in the comment section. Also, catch me live tonight. Sunday night, 8 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where I will do a collective reading and then I will answer questions. I'm live every Tuesday and Thursday, Sunday night, also. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.